Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, me. Hi. I ignore my. Uh, 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 I'm just doing my best, Hugh Grant. So Hugh Grant really tried, I think, to go Jimmy Stewart at one point in his career, and uh, thankfully did not take off. Anyway, what does that have to do with what we're doing today? Nothing. Oh no! <clears throat> Well, that's okay. Putin's goons escorted the professor off the premises. Um, okay. We have a key. We want to use the key. I have a list of where we go to use the key. Uh, first is Stornway, <coughs> and wouldn't you know it, uh, we actually skipped an area. There was an area we should have done before Swine Dimple. But yes, I know. I knew then. I didn't want to talk about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Um, I have a list of where we can use our thieves key and our magic key, and we're gonna basically do what we can of that real quick lack. But there was um, oh, it's the wrong way. There was a uh, a separate path we could have taken back when we got to. I want to call it Winters, just because um, <laughs> we got over there. Is it this one? It is. There you go. <clears throat> Thieves' key for that one. That's it for there. Uh, we could have taken basically a left and gone to what sounded like a swamp, or a right and gone up into the snow. And we went to the snow. Now, one of these we've already got, and it was in... Slurry K. Uh, right after we got the boat, there was a... Um, there was a shop. Actually, we need to go there and talk to that guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and it was something. I don't remember what. We can open this now. Also, Thieves Key for a pink pearl. Isn't that cute? And the one in Slurry K was the agility ring right behind the item shop. So, let's just head there real quick. I will move on to my magic key list. Oop. Get that over there. Shuffle some windows around. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Honda used to scratch his back. <coughs> Tibble Cave. We gotta hunt. Alright, fine. Next stop, Zare. Zare has a magic key chest. Um, in there. There it is. Other door. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. My god. Haven't done that at all until I hit the record button. Wow, seven dollars! And a mini metal. Which still sounds like a Mario coin to me. Uh, next! Zoom on Coffin Well. 
I don't know how much we're gonna do. We might just run over to that other area. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, to the inn. And that might be where we stop. Oh. Thunder, lava lumps, and thunderballs. Travel to the land famed and named for dragons. Holy crap! It's like 37 recipes. So we've spiked armor. Um, Cthulhu? for it. We've got to get you guys some pants. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, and if we zoom back to Bloomingdale, there's really not a lot. Um, and I believe all of the thieves key doors could be opened with the magic key, I think. And we've stumbled upon a couple things we can't unlock with either, so I'm sure there's another key, he says, knowing that there's another key, because it's in the list he's looking at. I don't know where it is, I promise. Uh, this way. Twelve dollars, oh boy. This an herb. Oh boy, moon wart bulb. We've used none of those. And what do we got? Magical robes. <clears throat> magical might and magical mending do go up quite a bit. Defense drops though. So we've got a couple mini metals. We'll go turn those in real quick. Zoom. Dower Bridge. It dawned on me while I was doing the editing for the last episode. Excuse me. Um, not only did nobody die in the desert, nobody died at the school either. We're getting better at saving lives. So far, every el everywhere else we've been, somebody has been murdered. Some form or another. Hi. Sixteen, reaches eighteen, Jolly Roger Jumper. Okay. We have more than that. It's like we can't open jail cells yet. But that's it. That's all the uh, magic and thieves key chests we can open. I'm gonna zoom back to Swine Dimples. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're gonna get out of here as quick as we can and with as little hassle as we can. see where we're going. Excuse me, purple bird. I believe... No, I think it's down here. Because it's already snowing up there. Yeah, there we go. So we should have gone this way. Oh, look at you, you missed. Why you get off my bridge? Ah! 
You know what? I ain't gonna edit this out. We're just gonna do it. This is what it's like. This is what I see when I'm doing these. That's what you guys get. All of that just clipped out. Hi, turtle. Bye, turtle. I'll get with you later. Oh, leave me alone. Yeah, how do you like that? Spike it armor. Two damage, that's what you get. It really takes more time to edit out the battle than the battles take. Oh, we gotta find some royal soil for what's her name at the school, too. Alright, excuse me, Dragon Man. What this means, there is a turtle. What this means for us, ladies and gentlemen, as I kick the desk. <clears throat> uh, line up tactics. Thank you. What this means, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna finish my thought here. Uh, we're gonna be overpowered for this area. And, uh,. Well, it wasn't intentional. Just didn't know where to go. North rise the plains. Now there's supposed to be a town around here somewhere. Because I went and I looked up, where do I go after here? Because this is something the Dragon Quest games do that I don't particularly like, is what just when they turn you loose. Like, okay, you got a boat. Uh, good luck. Like, give me some direction. I know Final Fantasy 1 did that, but Final Fantasy 1 was like... You know, I mean, I went here, and then everything ate my face, so I'm gonna go here instead. But, to be fair, uh, I could just about play that game with my eyes closed, I think. <clears throat> That's not royal soil. That's an auspicious. The girl said there was royal soil up there. Did she not? No. At least it's not earthbound trees. Earthbound trees are the worst. Here, but more stuff to pick up. Emerald moss. So I mentioned that there was some like four veins in a mountain somewhere in a couple of different places. This is pretty much what it looks like. It's just a a different colored spot on the ground with with sparkly stuff on it. I like it. I like it. I don't know that I love it, but I like it. No. Everybody wants to kill me. Oh. Wow, I can't believe that worked. My problem is, I'm trying to both watch the map and the screen at the same time. Not, it's not so foggy anymore. Excuse me, turtle. I guess we'll go this way. But appears to be a purple thing over here, but I doubt I can get to it. Nope. Well, we tried. <coughs> I hate saying that. I need to I need to stop saying, well we tried. Oh no. You know what? New monsters will fight. And I tell you why. I tell you why I need to stop saying that. Because one of the worst people uh on you know, video games. Our good friend 
friend of the channel. You know. The guy you don't want hanging around. Uh, Dark Side Phil says, I tried whenever he fails to do something. Kind of like... It, it, the way he says it makes it sound like, well, I tried, so it should have worked. You know what I mean? It's so whiny. So whiny. He's a whiny man. Look, I ran into enemies. I tried to get around him. I tried. I have to fight him anyway. Stupid game. Broken netcode. Online safe combo, dude. And I haven't made fun of him in a video for a while, so I'm going to. I think he's gone back to playing Street Fighter Friday nights, and, you know, for a former Street Fighter champion, he's very, very bad at Street Fighter. And I say that, and I'm very bad at Street Fighter. I've barely played any Street Fighter other than two, and I don't even mean two turbo. I just mean two. Um, had it, had the original two when I had my first Super Nintendo. Ooh, hey, that's just free money. And I'll bet, since most of these other things do, those will respawn. Um, anyway, uh, what I hear Phil complain about a lot when he plays these fighting games online is, uh, people have spent a lot of time figuring out how to do safe online-only combos, to which I think, well, yeah. If it's safe, why not do it? My path is lost to me. At Sureg. Carry me there, feet. That's where we want to go. But we're gonna... We're gonna scope out the place first. It's like, all, all this guy's doing, you know? I'm, I'm, uh... Who does he like to use? Yurian! Fighting a Chun Li, and all they're doing is like jabbing, and it's it's going through everything I do, dude. Number one, I don't think that's true. But then he'll say like, they've just played it so much, right, that they have found a way to uh, to cheap the game online because it wouldn't work offline. That's his, that's his big thing. Wouldn't work offline, so they have to do it online. And, uh, he says, it's safe. It's safe. They're a terrible player, because they're playing safe. Does that make you bad, or does that make you smart? I don't know. It's, it's not like camping. It's true. Remove every third letter, please. That's a long name. There's the N. The beast only has eyes for the chief, you say. I can help by smashing everything in the village. Hi. That's a rig. Follow the words of Sarant Satsral. Sarantrasal. Great beauty. No surprise. No backbones. Big talk for a man with a silk robe in his dresser. Hello, horse. Goodbye, horse. Ain't talking to you, dog. Uh, what's in here? <clears throat> oh, that's probably going to be important for the plot. Hi. Bat to Zorig. Thanks, man. It's nice to see friendly people who don't want me to, like, fight ghosts. Cat. 
I am with shock. It's an episode of Fist of the North Star. Powers of mystery, you say? I like a mysterious power as much as the next guy. Hi. Kills injuries. Heals injuries, but only if you do what she says. Okay. A savage monkey? Oh no! That's bad! The rare two roomed yurt. Do you have pants? I could use some pants. So, stat-wise, those are the same. The ice one costs more than the fire one. Uh, let's buy one of each. That way we'll get a little coverage. See, had we come here first, we would have had better equipment for the next one. But then some of the equipment we got... It's weird. One coif, please. Put that on your head. Those. Guarding garb that bedecks the brow of many a gladiator. I will say one thing. Our gladiator is better than the movie gladiator. Anything with Joaquin Phoenix in it, pretty bad. He was in Gladiator. It was not so good. He was in Sixth Sense. Not Sixth Sense. Signs. Signs. Not so good. He was in the Johnny Cash movie. Not so good. Uh, Joker. Not so good. Um, he was in the Sisters Brothers, and that was a pretty good movie. So I will I will give him points for that. Ranger stuff, huh? Deflects death magic, poison, and paralysis. Um, give me th three of those. It's one less defense than what we've got, but number one. It's real pants. <laughs> Number two, protects poison and paralysis. That's good. Number three, protects against instant death. Ah, uh, yeah, I want that. Well, they all their money. Smash, smash. Oh boy, cow pants. Uh, leather hat. I'll be back for you in a minute. Or are you the weapon store? You are the weapon store. I was expecting a counter. Hi. I will buy the weapons for the fighting. And a blade. That's what um Azrock has equipped. But I think we want that. Get. Uh, if we're gonna make Cthulhu a warrior. It's just that would be nice. But for now, I think we'll just stick with what he's got. So really, I only need the one sword. Because we've got those, we've got that. And you don't have any wands. So let's raise a little bit of cash here. We need about 8,000, seven something. Perfect. That's good. Bye. One of Valkyrie's sword, please. Yes, I do. Two. No, you may not. 
Wait. Okay, I saw the lightning staff and thought there was a second one that I missed. Because, you know, there's usually two of everything. Alright, so... Those are... They were good. Let's go see the chief. I bet he's a grizzled police chief. Hi. Yep, pretty grizzled. That's me. Are you in disguise? I was talking to the boss man. I do. I wasn't asking you. Oh no! What was... Can I remember the name? Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, my stomach. No, it came to kill you. What gave it away? Yeah, sure. But first... Ha-ha! Worth it. What was this supposed to be? A uh, monkey. Ow. Grr, said the monkey. Ah, monkey! See, I leveled up off screen and you guys didn't know I, I taught him laser eyes.
Oh, no, I'm gonna have to do something, aren't I? <sighs> you know, for a silent protagonist, I really need to learn to keep my mouth shut. How about I just go and look? I could just go look on my own. It'd be fine. Well, here is where I would say that's going to do it for this episode. I'm going to take some time off screen, run around, get a bunch of money together so we can get better equipped to move on with our lives. But since we're already equipped, uh, we ain't going to do that. So I'm just going to say bye.